Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and in this video, I'm going to share my opinion that spellcasting is actually just applied spirituality. So stay tuned. Spirituality is the quality of being concerned with the soul and with things of the spirit, like God and a connection with your inner self, rather than with physical things. Spellcrafting is the art of bringing your spirituality into the physical world. And so when people are spellcasting. They are using words, they're using colors, they are using many different correspondences, including the elements, the directions, um, music. Basically, you can use anything in the world to create your own spell. This video is sponsored by me and Tracy's Apothecary. Tracy's Apothecary is my new Etsy shop where I am selling essential oil and crystal blends that were intuitively selected by me and made with the highest intentions. All of the products at Tracy's Apothecary are also charged with Reiki by me before being sent off to you. If you would like to visit Tracy's Apothecary to support this channel, you can go to tracysapothecary.etsy.com and see all of the products that I have to offer there. Many people throughout the world associate spellcrafting with witches or witchcraft or simply with the Wiccan religion, but Spellcrafting is done by everyone. So we all actually have the ability to cast spells and we all do it all the time, whether it's consciously or unconsciously. For example, even working with crystals can be a form of spellcrafting because you're first you're cleansing that crystal, therefore making a ritual of the entire experience because after cleansing it, then it's best to charge it with your intention, which is putting your words and your energy into that crystal. And once the intention has been set, the more that you have that crystal companion with you throughout a period of time, the more that those intentions that you created with the crystal can come out into your own life experience. There is duality in this physical world. Therefore, when you are applying spirituality into the physical through spellcrafting, then you must have a couple of things pretty pinned down when you are working your spell. And those two things are first, a strong faith. So the stronger your faith is in spirit, then the stronger the outcome of the spell will be 
in the physical. It's the saying, as above, so below. So what you think, truly think, to the core of your being, is kind of what is going to be expressed through the spell once you do the ritual of whatever spell crafting that you have decided to create. And the second thing you are going to need, and this one is very important, I've learned, is that you need a very strong focus on exactly what you want to create. Because you basically, as you're spell crafting, you are basically taking your will and applying it directly into what it is that you're trying to create, right? So if you're not fully clear, then it can manifest in kind of strange ways that you weren't really expecting. And I actually have a spiritual story time for you guys that I'm going to share um, about a spell that I did about my YouTube channel. And I even have the analytics to back it up. So stay tuned for that. It is also important in spellcrafting to only work or craft a spell that you want to receive in your life. Never create a spell that is against another person's will. Because if you are trying to use your will through spellcrafting to affect others, you never really know who you're messing with or how strong they are in their spirit. So therefore, it's like you could try to cast a spell against someone else's will, but that will only come back to you, the spellcaster, with increased power upon returning to you as well. And again, it comes in ways you don't even really recognize at first. So spell casting is best done on yourself, the spell caster. So anytime you cast a spell, make sure you're casting them on yourself. So basically, a true and good spell is crafted with the intention of self-improvement. And since spell casting is applied spirituality, your own shadow does affect even your best intentions. So it's very important to try to maintain a still and composed mind and consciousness at all times. So that when you do go into your spell crafting and spell casting, then you are doing it from a very strong and secure place in who you are and in what you are creating. Another really cool thing about spell crafting is that with the use of correspondences like colors and elements and directions and animal omens and things, it is like we are learning to deepen our understanding of the language of symbols. And the language of symbols is the language of your soul. So it is actually like a good way to, again, apply that spirituality, which is the symbols and that language of mind and apply that in your day-to-day -day life. And the thing is, when it comes to creating, you don't need to cast spells or to craft spells spells in order to create the life that you desire because we were already built to do that in the first place. All you have to do if you're not creating the life that you want is to change your perspective or your circumstances to create the life that you want. But the thing about spell crafting and spell casting and doing rituals and mantras and affirmations is that it is a fun way to literally apply spirituality into the physical world. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share this video with all your friends out there. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe down below 
And once you have subscribed, you can turn on the notifications bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And you're going to want to watch my story time where I share with you a spell that I created and casted. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.